Greetings to everyone in Warsaw, Poland from Florida in the United States. I am working with prime assessments in Warsaw in the development of what we hope will be the first set of computerized adaptive tests to be developed and delivered in that area. By way of introduction, I received my bachelor's degree in psychology in 1959 from the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, USA. I then went to the University of Minnesota in Minneapolis for my graduate work in psychology. I received a PhD in 1963 from the University of Minnesota. I then began to work full-time in a research program concerned with the development of measuring instruments for use in vocational psychology and vocational counseling to assist people in selecting appropriate careers for their life's work. In 1971, I received a small grant from the University of Minnesota Graduate School to develop what I believe was the world's first computerized adaptive test that was implemented on a mainframe computer using the computer console as the test delivery system. In 1971, I received funding from the Office of Naval Research in the U.S. Department of Defense to develop the technology of computerized adaptive testing. That research was supported through 1985 with funding from the U.S. Army, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, and the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, which is the organization that brought us the Internet. The Office of Naval Research and the other organizations in the Department of Defense were interested in developing more efficient and effective ways of measuring the skills and abilities of recruits who came into the U.S. Armed Forces. And I, of course, was interested in the same issues, and that's how we got together on this research program. In the process of doing this research, we also sponsored three international conferences on computerized adaptive testing in 1977, 79, and 1982. All of us have taken tests in the past. We have taken psychological tests, we have taken ability tests, we have taken personality tests. And for the most part, all of those tests that we have taken have been paper and pencil tests of one sort or another. In a paper and pencil test, everyone gets the same questions. And as a consequence, some of the questions might be too easy for a given person and some of them might be too difficult. It's a curious fact that intelligence testing began over a hundred years ago in the early 1900s with an adaptive test. That test was developed by Alfred Binet and later become the Stanford, became the Stanford Binet IQ test. Binet's test was an adaptive test. And an adaptive test is one in which the test questions are adapted by an examiner or a psychologist for each examinee as the test progresses. So in an adaptive test, a low ability examinee will get easier questions, a high ability examinee will get more difficult questions, and someone in between will get questions perhaps of average difficulty. Binet's test was the prototype for future adaptive tests, but those future adaptive tests were not implemented until the early 1970s when I began my research program that I mentioned previously. As a result, the test adapted to the individual so that individuals of high ability got more difficult questions and individuals of low ability got easier questions. That is the essence of adaptive testing. It is similar to trying to determine how well an athlete can jump hurdles by raising the bar until the hurdle jumper misses a high hurdle to determine the maximum level that they can achieve. Similarly, 
in an adaptive test, we lower the bar for individuals who are not doing very well. About 70 years after Binet developed the IQ tests, I was one of the first to develop computerized adaptive tests. And in a computerized adaptive test, rather than being administered by a trained psychologist, the test is administered by a computer. Questions are displayed on a computer screen. Questions are answered on the keyboard or with a mouse. In between the display of the question and the presentation of the next question, each answer is scored. A computer algorithm is used to select the best question for that examinee at that point in the test. The test the question is retrieved from the computer displayed on the screen, answered, scored, and the process continues until enough information has been obtained to adequately measure an individual. An advantage of a computerized test is that it is efficient. It does not waste time giving individuals questions that are too easy or too difficult. Rather, it rapidly converges in on an individual's ability or trait level as the examination is being administered. The second advantage of a computerized adaptive test is that it can be designed to control the degree of precision of the measurements to a specified value so that all individuals or all people taking the test are measured to the same degree of precision. The result is a test that is as good, that gives scores that are as good for you as they are for the person next to you and everybody can be measured equally well. CAT was first implemented in the United States by, of course, the U.S. Department of Defense, who had supported my research for about 15 years. That, that testing program is called the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, and it is a multi-factor aptitude battery that includes eight or nine different tests. The battery used to take several hours to administer and now is delivered in probably less than a single hour. The second organization to adapt, adopt CAT on a large scale was the National Council of State Boards of Nursing, which is out of Chicago. One of my former students developed their CAT delivery program for them, and that program is still in existence today. The third major implementation of CAT was by the Graduate Management Admissions Council, who delivers tests for selection for graduate management training in universities throughout the United States. I've been asked why organizations implement CAT. The answer is simple. An adaptive test is more efficient than a conventional test. An adaptive test is more effective than a conventional test. You'll usually hear people talking about CAT resulting in reductions in test length of 50%. But in my experience, we can improve upon that considerably. For example, I was recently involved in a major research project funded by the U.S. Institutes of Health in which we were tasked with measuring aspects of mental health using paper and pencil inventories and converting them to CAT. We were able to create a score that was very highly related to the score on the 626 questions using only 25 questions. That is about a 95% reduction in number of questions administered and consequently the amount of time necessary for an individual to spend answering test questions. Quite simply stated, CAT measurements are better, they are more accurate, they are more precise, and they are more useful than are those of conventional tests. The main, the main advantages of adaptive testing from the client point of view or the view of the test user is that 
the people who, whom you are testing will be able to take their tests in considerably less time than they would by using conventional tests. Moreover, the results that you obtain will be much better than the results that you obtain from conventional tests. In addition, an advantage of adaptive testing is that it standardizes the test environment for each examinee. What that means is that in a conventional test, a low ability person will find that many of the questions are too difficult for them and will become frustrated. A high ability person will find that many questions are too easy for them and will find the test possibly less motivating. In an adaptive test, every person gets a set of questions that they will get about half of them correct and half of them incorrect. That means that the low ability person will find the adaptive test to be very easy for them because they are getting more questions correct than typically. And the high ability person will find the test a little more difficult than usual and perhaps be more motivated and involved with the test. So the psychological environment is more equal across the individuals. But the major advantage that you will obtain from using adaptive tests is efficiency and that is much shorter testing times for most people than you would with, an adapt with a conventional test. As adaptive testing has evolved over the years from timeshare computers to mini computers to microcomputers, it is now beginning to appear on the World Wide Web. At first, I was skeptical about delivering adaptive tests through the World Wide Web, partly because of my experience with timeshare computers, because sometimes the web can act like a timeshare computer. That is, there can be relatively long delays between sending something through the web and receiving a response. In an adaptive test, each test question is delivered separately, a response is accepted, sent back to the server, processed, and a new question selected out of a large bank of test questions. As a result, there could be unpredictable delays between test questions unless something is done to resolve those delays. Recently, we have developed ways of eliminating delays between test questions and they will be implemented in any adaptive tests delivered through the web developed by Prime Assessments. Where do I expect adaptive testing to go in the future? I expect that adaptive testing will begin to incorporate multimedia audio and video and move away somewhat from the delivery of multiple choice test questions into the delivery of tests that are more realistic, perhaps performance-based tests or simulation-based tests. If you are interested in adaptive testing, I can refer you to two websites. One is my CAT Central website, which is hosted at the University of Minnesota and has a wide variety of information on adaptive testing. The second is a new organization that I have recently co-founded called the International Association for Computerized Adaptive Testing, which is beginning to develop a website that will have considerable information on adaptive testing and eventually will incorporate my CAT Central website.